Corey Brennan, owner of Big Wally's Plaster Magic. And now that we've let this plaster set up overnight, the scratch coat, we're going to scrape it down and apply the second coat. And I'll show you how to do that. Now that we've uh, let this set up, the scratch coat set up, we're going to scrape it down and prepare to put the second coat on. We're also going to adjust the plaster so the box fits in easily. Now that we've cleaned up the scratch coat, we're going to apply another layer of Big Wally's patching plaster. This coat is going to come up tight to the electrical switch box and flush with the original plaster. I'm filling in all the, the glue holes and getting them ready for the finished coat. Now that we've roughed this in and filled in this plaster, we're going to let it set for an hour and a half while it sets up, and then we'll come and scrape it down and put the topping compound on it. Now that we've come back after an hour and a half, the plaster is now set. We're going to scrape it down and apply the finish coat to it and set the electrical box. First thing you do is you find the edge of your patch. Now we've found the edge of our patch, we're going to level out the whole thing. See how that's nice and level and flush with the old plaster? Now that we've finished leveling out the patching plaster, it's time to put the topping compound on it and finish out our final surface. And you want to put on a tight coat, very tight. All you're doing is filling up all the holes. Now that we've finished putting the topping compound on, we're going to let it dry. As soon as it dries, you can finish it with a sponge to smooth out all the humps It'll be perfect. I'm Rory Brennan, owner of Big Wally's Plaster Magic. If you have any questions, please email me at info at plastermagic.com. Thanks very much. Bye.